By nature, the theater is an ephemeral art, one that exists only in time and space, impossible to truly capture in the moment. When we think of theatricality in the theater, of course, we think of the lighting and the sets and the mood and the performance that the actors give us. In the visual arts, artists use plastic means to convey you know, the same sort of sense of emotions, theatricality. The Santa Fe Museum of Art invites you to broaden your spectrum of theater with stage, setting, mood, theatricality in the visual arts. Through things like the rhythm of the forms and the colors, where it gives your eye something to, you know, where there's kind of like a play or a dance around the canvas uh, that moves the eye through. All these things make it more exciting, make it more emotionally engaging, make it more dramatic and more theatrical. The exhibition explores the formal means that artists use to impart a sense of drama to static subjects, somehow fusing a sense of life to a two-dimensional work of art. And the works are as diverse as they are striking. We have things from the late 18th century to the present. So we borrowed four prints that um, are after paintings that were by Henry Fuseli and Benjamin West. And so they're very much high romanticism, very dramatic. Uh, clothes blowing in the wind, and they show Shakespearean scenes. They were after um, paintings, as I said, but they're color prints from the late 18th century. We also have some 19th century Japanese kabuki prints, and those really show us, um, you know, that sort of posing and, and actors being dramatic, and, you know, the use of color and the use of shapes helps to, um, you know, create more of that sense as well for the viewers. We also have a painting by Augustus Egg, a mid-19th century, 19th century um, British Victorian painting, the sort of thing you might not expect to find in our collection. So it's really fun to be able to bring that out. And we had it conserved so it looks beautiful for this show. And the subject um, includes the actress Nell Gwynn. And she's really important in British theater history because after Shakespeare's time, there was a period when the theater was basically outlawed, and then when it comes back, they start having female actresses, which they didn't have before. A lot of people know that, that in Shakespeare's time, all the female parts were played by male actors. So we have a, a painting showing that first generation of actresses and showing the most, um, the most important actress of her generation. Another painting that we borrowed is a 19th century Western scene of a herd of bison running forward, a painting by William Jacob Hayes that we borrowed from the Gilcrease Museum. And it's uh, a very fun scene um, that features a bison in the front stopping to ponder a bison skull on the ground. So it's like possibly a bison um, hamlet. Capturing the essence of drama, of theatricality, according to curator Carmen Vandella, has a compelling effect on the viewer. I think one of the big hallmarks of work that's dramatic is that it is almost like cinema. It's like if you turn around and turn back, you expect all of the action, all of the figures to be in a different place when you look around again. To view the collection of stage, setting, mood, theatricality, and the visual arts, head up to the New Mexico Museum of Art in Santa Fe.